everyone. Welcome to another video of Tips and Tricks. My name is Dave. I'm one of the techs at Amazing RC Store and in today's video we're going to be showing you the differences between brushed and brushless vehicles. Okay, so we're going to be using two models here uh, to give you the differences. This is a Volcano. This is going to be our brushed version Volcano. They also make it in brushless, but we're going to use the brushed just for the video. And then the Terramoto 10, which comes only in brushless. So let's start with the brush version first. Things that you should look into and consider uh, when you're looking into an electric RC car. First thing we're gonna go over is the battery. So the battery, the type of battery that you're getting is a, a nickel metal hydrate battery. This particular one is a 2000. So the number on the battery itself represents, uh, let's say how much storage I can, the battery can hold. So the bigger the number, the more storage, the, the higher the capacity, which is gonna give you more time. So the number is important as well. So this particular model, you're getting a 2000, 7.2 volt nickel metal hydrate battery. In the brush version, you're gonna get a brushed electronic speed control. They're short for ESCs. They call them ESCs, they're electronic speed controls. It what basically uh, gives the power to the motor, receiving it from the battery. This particular ESC now has been upgraded. This ESC can actually run a lipopolymer battery, which is something we're gonna get into shortly on, a, uh, on the brush list. And here's your brushed motor. So the brushed motor, different turns are gonna represent either more speed or more torque. Uh, so let's say a 17 turn is gonna actually be faster than let's say an 80 turn. An 80 turn would be something more for like a rock crawler, you know, a 21 turn, a 17 turn is gonna be something more for a vehicle like this, like a, more like a racer, like a basher, uh, a truck that you can jump, you can take to the park, you know. So the setup on the brush vehicles is good. You're getting a 2000 nickel metal hydride, um, an ESC and electronic speed control that can handle a lipopolymer, which is very important, and also a brushed uh, motor as well. A fantastic setup for a brushed volcano, which is you know a great uh, RC if it's your first one. If you want to get into the hobby, you know uh, this would be a great starter vehicle. Now let's get into the uh, brushless. So a brushless here, we're going to use the Terramoto 10. One of my favorite electric vehicles. Uh, the Terramoto 10 here comes with a lipopolymer battery. So I previously removed the uh, battery uh, casing just for the video sake. So you're getting a 3200 lipopolymer battery. You're getting a 7.420C discharge. So the actual sizing on this lipo, not only is the type of battery more powerful than a nickel metal hydrate, you're actually getting uh, more storage capacity, you're gonna get a little more time and you know you're gonna need more power when you're running a vehicle like this. It's bigger, it's heavier, uh, so this is a nice fit for this particular model. Secondly is the electronic speed control, the ESC. This here is, uh, this here is waterproof and it's also fully programmable. It has a fan to cool down because you are gonna be running for longer period of time uh, when you're running into a, a LiPo battery on your RC. and. Uh, lastly, here is going to be your motor. This particular motor is uh, 3000 kV, uh, fantastic size for a Terramoto 10. You know, it's kind of in the middle in between like a, a race car and a high torque. So it's a, just a perfect fit for it, for this particular model, four wheel drive, very nice. Other things I, that you would get in an upgraded version, like a brushless, is just minor stuff that normally you wouldn't, you know, consider or, you know, remember to look for or just even things you might not even know. Uh, to give you an example would be sometimes you'll you'll get bushings on a brushed version, you know, and on a brushless you would get ball bearings. It's much smoother, a lot better for you, a lot better uh, when you're driving the vehicle. Um, also, you're going to get, you know, and this is going to be determined by the different brands, different models, you know, they do different things. So I'm just giving you an example on these particular two here. So this is steering servo. So this servo, this little box here, is what uh, powers the steering. So when you go into a brushless, you're gonna get a Metal Gear servo box. Very important because if you're crashing into a wall or something, you're gonna need something very strong, something that isn't just gonna break. Now when you go into a brushed version, 
you know you're getting a plastic it's more entry level uh, based on the price so you're going to give you a brush plastic uh, uh, servo box for the steering now keep in mind that you crash into a wall at full speed you know you could break uh, the gear inside the little uh, box uh, for the steering so also consider that you know as one of the differences and um, other other small things here and there depending on the model so big bore shocks you know you would get on the brushless one so those are just basic little things some of them are cosmetics as well that you should definitely consider when looking into a brush or a brushless now a brushless vehicle is going to be obviously much faster it's going to give you more runtime because the type of battery that you're getting it's more powerful um, something that I like to run would be a brushless but not with a uh, 3200 and this is just my personal preference a 3200 for me it's not going to give me enough runtime if I'm out there at the park I want to be able to be there a lot longer you know so with a 5000 lipopolymer you know you're getting a higher C discharge which means a lot more juice coming out of the battery and uh, you're going to get more time you know with a 5000 you're going to get you know, I don't want to say double, but it's going to be closer to double uh, the runtime. So I prefer a 5000. If it's your first RC, run the stock battery first. It might be more than enough for you. Um, and if it's your first RC car, then nothing wrong with starting with a brush. Fantastic vehicle as well. Let me put the shell right back on. And uh, I hope that covers uh, most of the, you know, the differences between them. Um, if there's anything that uh, you would like some information on or if there's anything that you would like us to make a video on, uh, please feel free to comment below. Let us know uh, what you would like to see next and we'll be happy to make a video for you. So um, I hope that helped and uh, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe. We're going to be coming out with some more awesome videos shortly and thank you for watching. Thanks guys.